Virgos, why are you letting this person waste your time? Welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. This is your new love reading since I did a post, a poll, and that's what y'all wanted. Here we are. Y'all got somebody up in here in the mix that's non-committal. They're talking about how they want a commitment, but clearly they're still talking about their ex. They're a freaking mess. So emotional, Carl Thomas. Do me a favor, Virgo family. Please hit that like button. It helps me out so much and it costs you nothing. Subscribe if you are not already. I upload almost daily, so please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, Venus placement videos and hit the notification bell. Reach out to me for a personal reading. My information is down below in the description box. Please find and follow me on Instagram. And Virgo, Earth sign family, we are in it to win it. Again, we have the Hierophant as the overall energy, which speaks to a commitment. But this is a broken commitment <clears throat> or somebody who's not ready for something. This could also be a card of somebody coming in and asking for forgiveness. But this is a new person. Why are they asking for forgiveness? They just don't want to commit. Yikes. We see at the bottom of the deck here, before we even get into all of this, this king of cups. Could be any water sign that you're dealing with or somebody who, you know, they're coming off like they're emotionally stable and balanced, like they know exactly what it is that they want. Is it a Leo even with this line in this water sign card? We're in Leo season, but I'm getting the scent. Mm. See, some things are about to be uncovered. You're about to find out what's really going on with this person. The sun, big Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Please drop this person's sign down below. And don't forget to rep your city, family. Oh, not my alarm going off. Give me just, just a second. So we're in it to win it now. Um, you're about to, some things are about to be illuminated here. This is, the grass might be greener on the other side. Happiness, triumph, happy endings, brand new beginnings. But this is also illuminating some things that you might have been in the dark about. The two, mm. <sighs> I told you this person wasn't over their ex. This two of pentacles here in the reverse. This is a card of balance, but also juggling. And this person isn't juggling you and this other person very well. Are there feelings for you? Where they're currently at with you and where they're still at with this person? We see the Scorpio energy here and this Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This being the most solid and stable deck, <laughs> solid and stable Knight in the deck but it is the most slow moving. So while this person would really like to be in a relationship, I'm not saying that they're lying. I'm saying that with this death card in the reverse, this hangman in the reverse, which is stag, something becoming stagnant, as well as a change in perspective. This eight of cups in the reverse, which is somebody walking away, being forced to walk away from a situation or wanting to go back to a situation that they walked away from that's emotional, okay? We see this ace of pentacles here in the reverse, removing a commitment off of the table. This person still... Listen, page of sword. This person is still eye spying on their ex online. Mm. Have you ever sat with this person, Virgos, and they weren't talking about their ex, their ex boyfriend, their ex girlfriend? This might even be their exes for some of y'all. This person just can't move on. This Aquarius energy here, the star in reverse, speaks to a lack of wish fulfillment. This person being stuck on, hung up on, this past, a, a past situation. Notice, and I'm holding this upright just for the sake of putting this on camera, but 
the way that she's looking in this mirror, it's almost like she's looking behind her. Like this person just has not moved on from the past. They're just constantly trying to figure it out. They may even be trying to brainstorm with you during your Netflix and chill time about what happened in the past. How, what were they thinking? Talking about it, getting drunk at the bonfire. They emotionally have not moved on from this person or this situation. Again, them still watching their ex from a distance. Again, spying on them online. This person, mind being consumed with this person who... I'm going to tell you this. It's not every day that I say that somebody's going to tell you that their ex cheated on them and they're telling the truth. Usually that's a red flag that somebody's crazy. And for some of you, the majority is still a red flag. But you're going to know this emotional fool. That's all caught up, being mind controlled by somebody who super played them, was disloyal, untrustworthy. Whew, they can't let it go. Capricorn energy with that queen of pentacles in the reverse. Gemini, Aries with this magician. Now, what's this knight of pentacles in this death card in reverse? Because clearly that's the ending that somebody didn't want. Or if they had the opportunity to go back, they would and start over. The tower, Scorpio, Aries energy. Mm -mm -mm. The four of pentacles, more of that earth energy. Those earth signs, here we are. And the three, okay, so we got the three of cups here, the four of pentacles, which we see clear as day here as somebody dealing with two people, taken from two, not giving to two, taking from two, peep the picture, just in case for those of us that can't see upside down, it's okay, I got you, yeah, taken from two people, is this person not financially stable? And then we see this third parties. There's three people involved. Is it a Pisces, all these damn fish? And then we see this Scorpio energy twice here. Is it a Scorpio? But this is a revelation that somebody's still emotionally invested, still spending a lot of their time figuring out the situation with a past person. Y'all, this person, that's still their man. That's still their woman in their head. They have not moved on from being that past person's partner. Aries energy with this emperor here in the reverse. They are stubborn. They are stuck on this. this listen, they may be trying to sweep the situation up under the rug or how they really feel. This is Pisces energy again, as well as Scorpio with this high priestess. And all these major arcana, the tower, the star, the emperor, the high priestess, the death card, the hangman, the hierophant, the magician, the sun. That's eight. Come on now. There's a million bajillion red flags as to why you need to leave this person alone. They're clearly, even if they want a relationship, they're not ready. They're still thinking about this past person. They still got a lot of unfinished business, dirty laundry with them. That is clearly their focus. Again, this eight of cups here and this chariot in the reverse. This person, I feel like they got left behind. They got cheated on and they just haven't listened. Their happiness totally revolves around this person. They're still watching them. We see that here with this. They were betrayed by them. When I tell you that this person got cheated on or didn't see the end of this relationship coming, they were entirely all in, which, you know, that's a good trait. Except for when it's five months, five years later. And they're still stalking them, talking about them, talking about this past commitment that they had. And when I tell you that they talk about this nonstop with this Knight of Swords. Like I said, every time you talk to this person, they bring up an ex or their ex. Spying on them, seeing what's going on here. I, is their ex in a new relationship? Is that the deal? They broke up with this person. And they 
clearly moved on right away, but they're clearly not ready for a relationship with you. Yeah, King of Swords here in the reverse. We got the King of Water. We got the King of Air now. The, mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. Got the Three of Cups. Now we got the Three of Pentacles here. You got to cut this person off because they're, they're still entertaining a past third-party situation. Yeah, the Two of Wands. You're going to have to make the decision. Some of y'all are waiting on this person to do it because y'all don't want to be the bad guy. But this person will waste your time with this Two of Cups and the Justice card, Libra Energy. They will drain you and waste their time. Because one thing about this is they're clearly an emotional manipulator. That's one thing that we do know from this situation. They're having a little bit of a pity party for themselves. They want you to feel bad for them. But they're also letting you know that they're imbalanced and not ready for this situation. That they really don't have anything to give to it. Right. The Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Cups. We see the Strength card. Is it an emotional Leo or are you Virgo on the Virgo Leo cusp? Special shout out to y'all. And my husband in my head, Dr. Umar Johnson, who's also a cusper. But this Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, and this Strength card, this goes to show that even when you cut this individual off, yes, they're going to try and come back. Yes, they're going to be emotional. Yes, they're good looking. And, and it's going to pull at your little heartstrings. But you cannot give in to this. Ace of Cups here in the reverse. And here's the deal, people. Because just like they're in your face like this, when they realize that you're cutting them off, notice that it looks like he's swinging this sword, following through. Tennis moves. They're going to be racing to find, lay, and slay the next person that comes their way. This is somebody, again, who's emotional and very needy. So while they may not be, oops, my face hitting the camera, while they may not be a cheater normally in normal circumstances, this is somebody who's getting ready to hurt you. Whether they decide to talk, talk to their ex behind your back, listen, with this five of swords, private conversations, oops. Whether they need to go on a spiritual journey and separate themselves or that's exactly what it is that they do, they rope you in. You'll be all in, in love with this person, ready to be in a relationship with them. And then they're going to give you the bad news that, oh, I'm on a spiritual journey now. Oh, I need to heal. That last relationship took a lot out of me, Virgo. This is your energy with the hermit. And then it's just a missed opportunity and your feelings are hurt. You and this other person. You thought you were helping them out? This person is giving you all the red flags of somebody who is very selfish and, again, an emotional manipulator. Is it a Taurus? <laughs> is it a Taurus person? Um, with this King of Pentacles in the reverse. You already got the hair font here on that Taurus energy. And now we see this Eight of Wands. Just swift movement, swift communication. This person wanting to move swiftly with you. And we have the eight here with the Leo energy, the strength card. Now we have the eight of fire and the eight of cups here. Eight, eight, eight. Which is success, financial success and good news coming your way, Virgo. And this person might be holding, up, holding you up from your financial blessings. With all these text messages, getting emotional, blowing up your phone. Wanting you to get exclusive and be in a relationship with them, but they're talking about their ex, right? That either ghosted them or whatever. This person will ghost you for their ex. Let me be clear about that. Because while most of these people that are in this situation, their ex ain't coming back, doesn't want anything to do with them. Some of these people are in that sick marigold round of love. Their person will let them come back and start another cycle with them. And you'll be left high and dry. Wondering where this person went, asking the universe to send you a sign that they're alive, but this person will not be picking up their phone. They won't be entertaining or talking to you. No, they won't. Virgos, let this person go. Drop this person's sign down below. Rep your city. 
please hit that like button. It helps me out so much. Subscribe. I upload almost daily. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placement videos for a deeper look at your situation. Their placements. See what the hell is going on with them. Reach out to me for a personal reading, Virgos. My information is down below. Find, follow me on Instagram as well. And Virgos, Earth Sign family, I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.